The best trades in Roblox Jailbreak. So this has been something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I have actually done it on smaller scales, but we're gonna be reviewing trades that you guys have submitted to me. And this is largely thanks to me opening a little submission box on the Jailbreak Trading on Net Discord, where people have been sending me a lot of trades. So we have gotten over 200 screenshots of different trades that I'm going to be reviewing today. And if you do wanna submit trades for future videos, definitely join the Jailbreak Trading on Net Discord and be sure to submit them there. There is a lot of trades and anyone that saw the trading highlight channel, that is also where you can find all of the trades I'm going to be discussing in today's video. So I'm also going to be reviewing all of the values of the vehicles in this video using jailbreak trading on net. It's my values website that I've been covering for ages now, but it has the value of every single item for the game. And I don't think it needs an explanation at this point, but it's going to be a very essential tool for videos like this. But let's start with the first kind of trading highlight that I had submitted to me. And this is by none other than Snowcone. He's been a fairly active member in the Discord. Anytime I go on, he's always sending something. So let's take a look here. He submitted a trade with the Macron Aperture Parisian Poseidon Volt Bike Abstract Rims, Billion Rims, and Gold Color for a seltzer and an aperture now here's what i am going to say about this i'm going to honestly ignore the volt bike abstracts and billion rims because they just aren't really that useful and really the only thing of value here is in fact the macron aperture parisian poseidon and the gold color so realistically only the macron and the parisian are going to be above 2.5 million so the macron starts about 4 million and the parisian is about 3 million ish whereas the aperture poseidon and the gold color are all 2.5 5 million on jailbreak tree nanet and when you take a look here the other player offered a seltzer and an aperture so the aperture on both sides is going to cancel out so that's 2.5 million on both sides and then you have a vehicle that is 22 0.5 million so you can see here that this is obviously a win of more than 10 million i'm not actually sure why he had to throw in the volt bike abstract rims and the billion rims but needless to say this is a very good trade so he traded the macaron 4 million then the parisian 2.5 million so that's about 6.5 million so far then we have 9 million with the poseidon and then i guess you can include an extra 1 million for the volt bike so that is obviously 10 million and then we have 12.5 million for the gold color so that's kind of what i'm looking for 12 million million for 22.5 million i think that's a very good w and obviously the aperture canceled on both sides so let me know what you think about this trade i honestly think that snowco did a very good trade here and if you actually go to the trading highlights section on jailbreak trading on nets discord you can actually scroll up all the way to the top of the trading highlight channel and you're going to notice that i did actually put three reactions to this trade so this is actually the picture i'm using for the trade that this player submitted and you're going to be also able to vote whether you think this is a w trade or or not so in this case i'm voting green i think it's a very good trade and i think that the seltzer is very good especially if you have the premium garage where you can spawn it in anywhere and it traverses terrain extremely well so this is a very good trade by snow cone and thank you so much for submitting the next trade that we have here is by yasin and he also did a very interesting trade this time for the banana car which is another very popular vehicle in jailbreak and it also happens to go for 22.5 million so you're going to see here he did throw in hyper chromes level one on both sides and Yasin here had a hyper red level one and the other player had an hyper orange level one as well so those are going to cancel out they're both kind of in the same range but mainly you only use hyper crumbs really to balance out trades so the banana car alone wouldn't balance for all these items but that's kind of what you would want to use the hyper crumbs for and then we have the javelin now javelin's a very good stable vehicle right now 12.5 million easily power one though power one has actually been fluctuating a lot recently and i actually have it listed at 5.5 million on jailbreak tree on that and if you take a look here he does actually have the carbonara that means that this trade was fairly recent and well the power one is definitely rising in fact i think 5.5 million is kind of just an understatement right now i think people are getting even more for it right now so it may actually increase to 6 million but you could see here that the javelin and power one and the carbonara would actually be just about fair for the banana car which goes for 22.5 million i mean the carbonara is about 2.5 million right now so when you have the power one going for 5.5 million and the javelin for 12.5 million as well and including that he threw in a jackrabbit which i'm not going to really discuss much about the jackrabbit all that you need to know is it is about 750k this is only just a fair trade i think for the banana card though some players like it others don't like it so maybe he was trying to collect the banana car and overall i think this is a good trade would i have personally done it i don't think the banana car is worth that entirely much but it's still a very fair trade and if you want to get yourself a banana car maybe in the future
Speedstroll Rise. So I'd say it's a fair trade. And let me know what you guys think in the Trino Highlight channel as well. You can respond with your own reactions and then we would be able to determine whether people think this is a W trade or kind of a fair one or a loss. So on to the next trade. And this next trade is also going to be by Yasin. So finally, we have a very good W. I don't think this even needs an explanation. He traded a Bruley for a seltzer so the brewery right now i actually have it listed at 6.5 million on jailbreak trading on net that's actually legitimately what i can get for the brewery i previously had it at 8 million but no one's trading it for 8 million so that is actually realistically what the brewery gets and that's why i have it listed at 6.5 million on jailbreak trading on net so when you're trading a car that is worth 6.5 million for a vehicle that is 22.5 million that's a very big w i want to say he earned back basically like 60 percent of what he traded away and somehow he even got the other player to add the native spoiler the roadster and the tow truck so that's kind of ridiculous i have no idea how yasin managed to get this trade but he literally scammed the other player named gordon ramsey so that's actually brilliant but that being said yes this is a very good w trade and i would absolutely do trades like this if you do have the chance i really have no complaints here so i want to see everyone's reaction on this uh, trade to be in the green check mark range because it's obviously such a big w and that actually also goes alongside the name for the file that he submitted here it's called literally the biggest w of my life in jailbreak so yep i would have to totally agree with that yasin all right the next trade we have submitted is by maleo and this is a very interesting trade again so we have the aperture and e color that Melio added you to a trade for a Glive Cybertruck Orange Shoot Hyper Yellow and Retro Racer Rim. So here's my thoughts. I think that the Aperture and Goliath are going to balance. Now, here's the thing. I think that the Aperture is an absolutely better vehicle in pretty much every way. But, you know, in terms of value, they're basically about the same. I don't think people actively, like, really hunt down an Aperture or Goliath. So they're both kind of in the same range. But what's more interesting here is he actually got the orange shoe. And I think that this is a pretty good spoiler. And this is mostly a collector's item. So you can see over here that they also balance with a Hyperchrome on both sides. And, yes, I think that's absolutely fair enough. So here's where it gets interesting interesting you can see that the other player included the orange shoe now the orange shoe is mostly like a collector spoiler kind of item but i don't think it's as good as the police equivalent so for example if i check the blue shoot on jailbreak tree 9 it's actually 1 million two hundred and fifty thousand. whereas if you check the orange shoe which was the criminal exclusive more players got it and as such it's actually only worth seven hundred and fifty thousand. so here's where it's actually standing right now he basically got a fair trade although i don't necessarily know that many people that are going to be wanting the orange shoe now i think i players that wanted the orange shoe pretty much already got it so when he's trading a vehicle that's worth 600k for a spoiler that also has a lot less demand i don't know if this is actually the best kind of trade he was able to get for it although i will say he got the retro racer rims retro racer rims are actually about 500k on jailbreak tree on it the only issue with them is that they were actually like a level two item in season six so here's the thing about retro racer rims i think it's just another item that's nice to have but not necessarily a lot of people seek out for so basically he treated a supercar for a slow armored personal carrier and then an eclair for an orange shoe and a retro racer rim. now i'm gonna be honest i think it's a fair trade although i personally would have not done it just because i don't think the goliath has much value like i personally have used the aperture for transportation around the map but never the goliath the goliath is pretty terrible i just pull it out because it's a meme vehicle and well the orange shoe it is also a very cool spoiler although i just never see anyone using it and the reason for that is because when you're driving the camera camera sits behind your vehicle right so when you have a huge parachute behind you it's actually blocking your vision so it was cool when it released and the camera system was different for jailbreak but in modern jailbreak the orange shoot does not really work that well and while the retro racer rings i think they're cool to collect if you're a collector then this is actually not a bad trade although i personally would have never used the retro racer rims they're very common rims and well i personally don't really have much things to say about them but yeah i think it's a fair trade if you're a collector for these items but not necessarily the best ones so so in my opinion, this was a very fair trade. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now we have another trade by Maleo. And this time it's actually something more interesting. So you can see over here, he actually offered the Hyper Red Level 5. So I have talked a lot about Hyperchromes in the past. And well, when it comes to Hyperchrome Level 5s, most of the time they are duped. So when you see the other player offering Bagnet, 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 Icebreaker, Celsius, and Raptor, that's actually a fairly decent overpay. Unless this was actually legitimately grinded for Hyper chrome but we can't really say for sure i honestly really doubt that this player grinded for their own hyper red level five simply because
because it's honestly ridiculous. The way you get hyper red is by doing the tomb 250 times for level one. And level one, as most of you guys know, is just for balancing. Then it doubles to 500. Then it doubles to like a thousand. And then it goes to 1,250 times to get a guaranteed hyper red level five from the tomb. And keep in mind that this does not actually allow you to do any other robbery. So if you're grinding for the hyper red, you basically have to rely on this pity chance, which allows you to get the hyper red guaranteed after a certain amount of robberies. Well, guess what? I don't think it's really possible that anyone's going to be sitting there doing the tomb for around like 5,000 times in a row, considering Omi opens like three times an hour now. So yikes, this was definitely an interesting trade. I don't know if this was a legitimately grinding for a hyper red. In that case, I probably wouldn't have traded it, but I'm going to assume it was dupe. And so in that case, it's actually a very good trade. Maybe it was like an unknown duped or something. So make sure you guys are checking on the duped item calculator on Jovic Tree Nana. It is very useful to check for these sort of things. But that being said, I think the Bagnet's realistic value is like 15 million each. They're kind of going downhill, so that's probably what I'll update the value on Jailbreak Tree not net to. Saucer, we've talked about it before, 22.5 million, and the Raptor is 15 million, so a fairly good W. And well, considering a duped Hyper Red level 5 goes for 65 million, then yes, I absolutely consider this to be a very good trade that Maleo made, so I'm assuming it's duped. That being said, I don't think there was a whole lot of more context here, but I did think this trade was very interesting. And if you're trading a hyper chrome level five and it's duped i think this is totally something you can consider and overpay so anyways the next trade and this is going to be the last trade of the video maleo traded the icebreaker for the checker texture and here's my thoughts on this well let's actually take a look on jailbreak tree not net here checkers texture is actually one of the older textures that you were able to get in jailbreak and it wasn't actually obtainable by playing the game a lot of people are very confused on the checkers texture but the way you actually got the checkers texture is by purchasing access to bedemos kind of like play test game or something like that basically you spent robux and you got access to this vehicle testing game by bad demo and it was actually listed underneath their group so once you got access and you rejoin jailbreak you actually got the checker section now in my opinion i just personally wouldn't run it alone but yeah unironically for 15 robux you used to be able to get the checker structure and it's worth 35 million simply because a lot of people didn't play in the beta when the bad demo vehicle demo was actually still out there so yeah, in my opinion, it's a very good texture. It's probably one of the most valuable ones. But here's the thing. Now you have the icebreaker. A car is always going to be more valuable in jailbreak. And well, when I take a look at the icebreaker here, it is closer to 30-ish million. Is because the icebreaker has actually been going downhill a little bit. So in my opinion, I think that Maleo did a very good trade here because at the time this would have been considered a very fair trade. And keep in mind, the other player only added the Ray 9 just to balance. So the other player added 400,000 on his side just to balance the trade to make it even for the trade to go through. But on the other hand, and the trade itself was actually probably fair at the time in my opinion this is a w because the icebreaker is going downhill it's settled at about 30 ish million and who knows it might go down even further whereas the checker texture is actually 35 million so it's a very good trade I think that he also got the Ray 9 so he can use it for balancing his own trades in the future. And yeah, that being said, I think it was a very interesting trade to go over. Although keep in mind, not every single person is probably going to trade like 35 million for a checker texture, but I still think it's a very good texture to get out there. So that being said, that is going to be the conclusion of the first trading highlights video, guys. I know I didn't get to every single submission and that's because I want to discuss every trade thoroughly, guys. And I don't know how many of these are actually going to be coming in, but yeah, I think most members got a chance to actually submit their trades and then going off from here i'm going to be looking at the rest of the trades you guys submitted and then cherry picking the best ones to be featured in the video so stay tuned for that but no matter who submits their trade it's going to be featured in the trading highlights channel and be sure to check that out if you want and then you're also going to be easily able to find a little kind of reaction panel there where you're going to be able to click it open a ticket and then be able to submit or upload footage you want to be featured in this video so that being said that is it for today guys if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe and if you like the video make sure to like and i'll see you in the next jailbreak training video have a great day